Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you could set up a photo slideshow using Microsoft PowerPoint. It's pretty easy to do. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump to it. I'm on my PC desktop here and I have the latest version of PowerPoint installed. This is a PowerPoint that comes with, with Office 365. Uh, it's the latest version of Office. Uh, if you have Office 365, if you have Office 2019, 2016, any recent version, you should be able to do this. It should go back to previous versions, but I won't guarantee that it'll work if you're on a very, very old version. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on blank presentation. I'm on the homepage of uh, PowerPoint, and here I am, I have a nice blank canvas. How do I, uh, so how do I set up a, a photo slideshow? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this insert button on top and you'll see this option for photo album and I'm gonna click on new photo album. So let's go ahead and click on that. And uh, what I could do here is insert pictures from, it looks like it kinda wants me to click on that button so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what I've done is on my desktop I have a folder for photo slide show. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Um, I was recently in France and I took a whole bunch of pictures, so I'm going to bring in the pictures from my uh, France trip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first photo and I want to bring all of these in, so I'm going to press the shift key and then mouse on the last one, and so that'll highlight all the photos that I want to bring in, and then I'll just click on insert. And so what you'll see now is it brought in all the photos uh, into this view. And what I could do is uh, I could reorder, you know, what order I want these photos to show up in. I could rotate pictures if it's the wrong orientation. Um, they have some very basic editing functionalities. I could in, uh, increase brightness, contrast, all of that. Um, and I could also go through the photos and I could say how I want it to show up on the slide. So here I could do fit to slide. I could have just one picture show up. I could have two pictures show, or two or four, um, any number of pictures that I want to have show up. So here it shows what slide. So here, if I do four on a slide, it has the one, and I know these four pictures go on that slide. Uh, but I just want to have uh, one photo per slide, uh, so I'm going to go to fit to slide. You can also apply different PowerPoint themes. Um, so these are the themes when you click on design. You can apply any one of those themes. I'm just going to stick with the standard. Um, and then all pictures, black and white background, or I could just change the pictures to black and white, but I, I want to keep it in color. Um, and uh, so once I've, uh, once I've gone through and um, I have all my photos in here, then I'm just going to click on the create button. And what that'll do now is it'll bring all my photos uh, into PowerPoint. So uh, let's just let it go through and create this. And here it is. So it's created my photo album and I'm gonna close the design ideas. It says photo uh, album by Kevin Stratford and then here you'll see all my photos are now in a slide deck. You know, we have Notre Dame, um, there is the Eiffel Tower and so a lot of the like, very frame, uh, famous uh, French sites, some chateaus and whatnot. Um, so a whole bunch of pictures in this slide deck. But what I want to do now is, because it's a photo slideshow, I want it to automatically advance throughout the, the slideshow um, as I show it to people. And so what we could do then is I will click on uh, Transitions. And within Transitions, you'll see something that says Advanced Slide. And so I want to maybe show the photo for about three seconds. So I'm going to type in a three, uh, and then I'm going to click on Apply to All. So let's apply this to all. And I also don't want to do it on mouse click. I just want it to go automatic. So I'll just view the slideshow to see what this looks like. So here it shows the title, here's Notre Dame, and it'll just kind of go through the picture. So there you see it stays for about three seconds. I, I find that three seconds is a good amount of time to show a photo in a slideshow. And what I can also do then is I could throw in different transitions. So I'm on the transition tab, I could have it fade between a photo, I could have maybe do a wipe there, and then we could do a cut, and then maybe a shape. Um, PowerPoint's got some fun little transitions. Uh, one of my favorite ones is the vortex. So boom, look at that vortex. It's uh, maybe a little overdone for a transition, but kind of fun. So I can apply different transitions. Um, you get the idea of uh, what I can do. And uh, so let's say that I'm all good with my photo slideshow. It's going to spend three seconds on each slide. I've inserted some transitions between the slides. How do I now make it a slideshow? Well, so what I could do is I could go to File, uh, Save As, and what we're going to save it as, so I'm going to put it on my desktop, and the, what's interesting is you can just save it as a standard presentation and you have to open PowerPoint and then you have to go into slide mode and then it'll just kind of go through. Uh, but what you can also do is I could save it as a PowerPoint show. So let's go ahead and save it as a PowerPoint show. It's gonna save it to my desktop. So when I go back to my desktop now, uh, what'll happen is 
if I click on uh, Photo Album PPSX, what it'll do is rather than opening all the PowerPoint Chrome, the menu bars, everything else, it'll just automatically jump immediately into the slideshow. Uh, so you don't have to open the app, hit present, um, so it's a lot easier to get it to start playing. What I can also do in PowerPoint, another nice way to make uh, the presentation available is you can go to File, Save As, and once again, I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop, and you could also export it as an MP4, so a video file. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. You'll notice that it, it takes a little bit of time to create the MP4 with all the images. Here you'll see that it's saving right now. Okay, the video just finished saving, and we're gonna go back to the desktop and you'll see I have this photo album.mp4 and so I'm going to click on that and here you'll see that the photo slideshow uh, just starts playing and it'll go through photo by photo, three seconds, you'll have the transition um, and as an mp4 what you could do is you could upload that anywhere, you could upload that on Facebook, you could upload that on YouTube, wherever you want to upload your photo slideshow you could put it there. Um, so also kind of a very uh, easy way to create a photo slideshow. What's nice about creating an mp4 is <clears throat> you could also have it repeat. So let's say that, I don't know, maybe you have a doctor's office and you wanna have photos show up on the wall. Um, as an MP4, you could just have the video play again and again on loop. Um, so that way, I don't know, maybe you wanna communicate business information, holidays, you wanna show photos of your happy patients. You could do all of that with a photo slideshow and then an MP4 file. That's how easy it is to create a photo slideshow in PowerPoint. All you have to do is insert an album, set the amount of time that you want to show on each photo, and then you can either export as an MP4 or, a, or a, just a PowerPoint uh, slideshow view. Um, so either of those formats, and then you can distribute your photo slideshow, or you can show it at home on your computer, however you want to show uh, your slideshow. Anyway, if you were able to create a really compelling, awesome photo slideshow using this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. You want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see any other topics, anything else that you're trying to learn about, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to make in the future. And hey, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.